हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल गैमा डाई गैमा सो आई नोटिस समन कॉमेंटेड ऑन ऑन ऑफ द ऑन द क्लासिक फूरिय सीरीज सोल्यूशन ऑफ द बासल प्रॉब्लम दैट यू नो आई 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 डेंट आई डिट सम कैलकुलेशन एर एंड देन आई नोटिस अगेन अनफॉर्चुनेटली दैट आई हैड मेड एन एरर इन पार्सवाल्स थियरम स्टेटमेंट सो दैट्स वाई सिंस दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट करेक्टनेस एंड एंड मैथमेटिकल वेलिडिटी I decide to re- I'm going to replace the video by this video. And again, sorry for not being active on the YouTube community. Let's get started. Okay, so Consider the function f of x equals x, and why am I choosing x for the Basel problem, which is the sum from n equals one to infinity of one over n squared? That's because there's like a pattern which you can realize later on when you ex- experiment a lot with these Fourier series examples. But the rough idea is, if you want like an inverse square here, you need to take like a linear x here. If you wanted like one over n to the fourth, you would have taken an x squared here. So that's that's the basic idea that I'm gonna employ, and uh, I'm gonna employ in such a way that I'm saying let's let's consider the the Fourier series. About uh, negative pi to pi. So let me just state the formula for the Fourier series. The Fourier series is as follows: f of x is equal to a naught over two plus the sum from n equals one to infinity of a n cosine of n x plus b n times sine of n x. Okay, and the way to look at a naught is like noticing that it's the cosine of zero term, and the formula to calculate a naught by orthogonality. I'm not going to derive it. Is one over pi integral from negative pi to pi x dx, which is simply one over two pi x squared evaluated from pi and negative pi. Which, because of its even character, becomes zero. Fine. Let Let's calculate a n. A n has a similar formula of calculation: one over n, one over pi, integral negative pi to pi, f of x times cosine of n x. In In this case, f of x is just x, cosine of n x dx. In In higher In higher examples, this uh, integral can get ugly, but in our case, it's simple. It's just uh, integration by parts so i'm going to integrate over the cosine and basically differentiate over the x so i get x sin of nx divided by n by the reverse chain rule evaluated at pi and negative pi minus 1 over n integral from negative pi to pi sin of nx dx Okay, so sine of n times pi or negative n times pi is always going to be zero. Integral multiples of pi sine of that is zero. And then if you just evaluate this, you have one over n squared pi cosine of n x pi and negative pi. Well, cosine of n pi is actually alternating negative one to the n, and since cosine is even. Cosine will take this value at both of these points, so you have this minus this basically, which will cancel out to zero. So it seems that a naught and a n in our case are both zero. Let's look at the the sine coefficient now on a fresh page. See you there. Okay, so I've just written down the 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 Fourier series formula. Now to calculate b n. Like like uh, last time, like a n, it's just going to be one over pi. 
integral from negative pi to pi of uh, f of x times sine of n x which is just x times sine of n x in this case again integration by parts negative 1 over n pi x cosine of n x pi negative pi minus integral from negative pi to pi cosine of n x dx if you you know have trouble understanding you can pause the video do it on a piece of paper whatever negative 1 over n pi for this term we have negative 1 to the n for the cosine at pi and then pi and this negative negative will be a positive so if 2 pi I have negative 1 to the n because of the cosine of n pi minus integrate the sine of n x divided by n evaluated at pi and negative pi well sine of n pi is 0 so this just goes to 0 finally we have 2 over n pi's will cancel out negative 1 with another negative 1 we we'll get negative 1 to the n plus 1 and that is your bn coefficient now we know values we know a a naught is 0 a n is 0 we just have a value of bn so this means f of x which is x is just equal to the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of this guy minus 1 to the n plus 1 times 2 over n times sine of n x on the interval negative pi to pi that's the the Fourier series expansion of x yes what do we do with this well we use a certain theorem called Parseval's theorem and I stated it wrongly in in in, in, a, in a previous video so I want to rectify that see you on a fresh page okay having obtained the the Fourier series expansion Parseval's theorem goes like this so on a Fourier series expansion of negative pi to pi Parseval's theorem states the 1 over pi times integral from negative pi to pi of f of x the whole thing squared dx is simply equal to a naught squared over 2 plus sum from n equals 1 to infinity of a n squared plus b n squared well f of x is just x so plug that in here a naught is 0 a n is 0 this test sum from n equals 1 to infinity b n is like this guy so just square that up the alternating part will go away because you're squaring a negative or a positive you get 1 4 over n squared that's it just evaluate this integral well 1 over pi x cubed over 3 evaluated pi and negative pi is equal to sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 4 over n squared well, if you just evaluate this 2 pi cubed over 3 equal to sum from n equals 1 to infinity 4 over n squared the pi's will cancel out you get pi squared take the 4 on that side you have sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared which is precisely the Basel problem that's equal to pi squared over 6 on the rearrangement and that is what we had to prove or calculate and that's how you do it with the classical Fourier series. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Recommend me to your friends. Spread the word of Gamma Digamma in the math community. In the meantime, stay home, stay safe, keep doing math and peace out.